Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial slash showcase of some of my favorite skins. The one you're looking at right now just came out today or yesterday, or at least that's when I noticed it. It was on Reddit and um, I'm really digging it. So far I've used it for a little bit and I'm liking everything. Everything's very clear. There's not any issues that I've run into yet. So let's just go and play this little track and see what's going on. So I really like the blue on gray. I like that it's not really dark like some of my other favorite ones like the LT skin that I posted about last year. Just the color scheme is really great and I really like the green down here. Uh, just everything about it is so smooth. Everything is very legible. I can read everything without having to squint and it's really great. Not only that, but there are four versions. If you come into preferences and this is a Bonus tip, if you didn't know how to switch your Ableton Live skin, this is how you do it. You go to look and feel inside of the preferences, and then you choose the skin down here. And this particular VS skin comes with four flavors. There's the Green Auto, the VS Green, the VS Dark, and then the VS. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can also tweak the intensity and hue. Obviously, if you tweak this stuff too much, you're going to get completely different colors and jump back to VS, which is my favorite of the four that was released. And while I'm here, I'm just going to showcase this other one, LT, done by Lance Thackeray, the person who did the GUI for Serum. Every time I take a screenshot from one of my tutorials, someone's always asking what screen I'm using. It's this one. It's the LT, and it's free to download, and again, links on my blog. And then there's a couple other ones by LT and I, which is a modification of Lance Thackeray's by someone else, and I forget his name right now, but there are links to his work on my blog as well. And it's just a lot brighter. And then there's a one that's kind of like a mix between dark and, and light to get a better contrast of things. So I actually use this one a bunch too when uh, the darker one's not really working for me. But like I said, these VS ones are looking pretty good. You know, something like that looks really nice to me. And the last thing I want to do for this video tutorial is show you where to install your .ask, which is the skin file, for your Ableton Live 9 suite. Ableton Live 9, the update, put everything in a hidden folder. It put everything in the program data folder, and that has to do with the fact that Ableton Live 9 auto-updates if you have that in your settings. And the way to get to it is you go to your PC and then your local C and then there's a program data file. You notice here it's kind of ghosted and that's because it's a hidden file and inside of Windows you can choose to show hidden files. So you should do that. I'm going to leave uh, information about how to do that on the blog post. So if you don't know, go check it out. I forget right now because I did it so long ago and I haven't worried about it since. Go to program data and you're going to go down to Ableton. Live9 Suite, Resources, and then there's a skin folder right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave this file pathway for you because you can just copy and paste it into your Windows browser and you should be able to go right to it without having to f even find the hidden folder or unhide those folders. You should just be able to put that in your, uh, this little in address bar here, or pathway bar, and it should shoot for right where you wanna go. Then you just drop the .ask in there. You maybe have to refresh Ableton Live, but then you just go to the uh, options, preferences, look and feel, and then you can switch through these great looking skins. But anyway, this is the new skin, the VS. Right now it's my pick for the best of 2017. If you know any other good skins that you wanna share with me, just drop them in the comments on this video or my blog or my Facebook, wherever. I'm always interested to see good skins that work well for the production workflow. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.